whoever is going to pitch this, so go ahead. We're here for uh, approval on the um, four software items that need to be purchased for the district attorney's office um, for the gun violence and specific investigation and pro prosecution grant program. Sorry, cough drop in my mouth. And uh, that's the grant that they applied for for these items that are listed on your packets. So um, they had received two hundred seven thousand dollars in grant money for these and they're looking for approval to go ahead and purchase these. Okay. Uh, before we, well, let's get a motion. Motion to approve. Second. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Jonathan, do you have anything to add to uh, describe what we're voting on? <clears throat> so there's four different items. The first item is the crime scene scanner. It's a 3D crime scene scanner and the related accessories. Um, we can use that pretty much at any crime scene, including <coughs> outdoor crime scenes. Um, and it, it recreates a uh, crime scene virtually, basically. Um, takes, it shoots lasers and measures, and it's accurate within millimeters or inches anyway. Um, the second item that we're purchasing is uh, Celebrite extraction, phone extraction software. Um, we have currently used Celebrite, but this is some extended options. We are going to be able to unlock phones. so we have a deceased victim, we can unlock their phone and access their phone without their passcodes and then extract information. Missing children, if we have their phone, we can extract, you know, unlock their phone and access their phone. Um, the third thing is uh, video enhancement software. Um, again, we're currently using them. It's Input Ace uh, and they allow us there's so many proprietary systems out there on surveillance systems. So when in, <laughs> we get surveillance video from a crime scene, we may have difficulty opening it. So this program is pretty universal and they keep it up to date and it allows us to open almost any surveillance video. And if they can open it, we can go back and open it with them. Um, the fourth and final thing is five different, uh, it's actually 10 cameras and license plate readers. Um, they're in use in some of the boroughs and townships. I know Palmyra has some. I think North Cornwall has some. There's other departments, well, but off the top of my head. And basically, they'll be statically positioned at an intersection, and they will record the vehicles and the license plates as they go through. They can tell an officer that's nearby that an expired registration just went through. If we are looking for a particular suspect vehicle um, or missing person vehicle, we can search, historically search the records, and there's going to be five of them in the county, um, and we have agreements with the the grant is going to pay for two years, and we have agreements with chiefs of police and municipalities to pay for the remaining three years on the grants. Wow. Okay. Well, thank you for that synopsis. Any questions regarding anything that Jonathan has said? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm curious if someone passes away but it's not a crime and the phone is locked, do you provide a service to the community to unlock them for them? We would need, uh, no. No. So we only have, with the software agreement, mm -hmm. we only have so many unlocks per year. Ah. So um, it, it can be a pretty expensive process. So it may be even minor crimes where they need a phone unlocked that we won't be able to unlock those phones. Okay. Might be reserved for serious crimes or endangered people. Mm -hmm. Okay, I just was curious. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to uh, approve the I four. We, we already, we already did. did. Oh, I'm sorry. We already did. Yes, we did. All five of them. Okay. Or four. 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 Okay. All in favor of the motion, please indicate by saying aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. So moved. Thank you for the uh, time and the explanation. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Okay.